Hi guys, how are we doing? Well in this video blog I thought I'd do something um, a little bit different for you guys and girls out there. Uh, I thought I'd give you sort of like a, a behind the scenes look as to how I edit some of my um, my videos for YouTube and the type of software that I actually use. And uh, I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this. So uh, with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, well as you can see guys, in front of me here, um, I'm on my Mac. Uh, and I've got um, a piece of software called iMovie open. Now, uh, for those of you that obviously have got a Mac yourself, uh, and that maybe use iMovie for doing all your video editing, you'll, you'll certainly be familiar with this interface. Um, but obviously for those of you that maybe are not aware of iMovie, that obviously don't have a Mac, then uh, you might find this quite interesting. So uh, this is the main interface window in front of me here, as you can see. Um, now it, it, it does work very similar to other pieces of software like you can get Cyberlink PowerDirector for Windows um, and there's other software you can get for the Mac as well there's Final Cut Pro X which is another piece of software which is very good for the Mac um, but what I really want to do in this in this first uh, I suppose you could call it part one tutorial of iMovie I want to sort of give you guys the basics of how you create a, a movie or a video clip for your YouTube channel and how you create what they call a project and also how you add transition effects in between video clips uh, and that's going to be the tutorial that I'll be showing you in this in this uh, in this first part so we go up to file we go to new projects in iMovie and we we are um, presented with this window here now this is where you create your new project file for where you're going to be importing all your various video clips that you actually want to use for your your piece of video that you're editing. Um, now we've got a, a few choices here. Um, the first window where my cursor is here is what they call the project themes section. Now you can have various different themes incorporated into your video depending upon what the video is about. So say you were, say for argument's sake you filmed something, maybe you film, filmed some sport events or some football or something like that, uh, and you want to add like a theme to it, you know, relating to the actual video that you're working on. Well, you can with this uh, within iMovie because there's actually some built-in um, themes that you can actually use. Now, uh, as I was mentioning, if you say for argument's sake you filmed some sports events like football, etc., or soccer, uh, then you can select the sports uh, theme. And if you look at the little preview where my cursor is now, it gives you a, a preview as to what the theme looks like once you've incorporated various different video clips into it. And the actual themes and the transitions are, are automatically um, added. you can see it works extremely well um, <clears throat> and I actually use a few of these themes uh, quite regularly now there's another one here called newscast which I tend to I tend to use the first sort of 20 seconds of of that for when I'm doing unboxings I use this little segment here at the beginning uh, which is really really cool um, but yeah there's there's a variety of different themes there as you can see relating to you know whatever you want it to to be about if you wanted to talk about if you, if you had like a, a movie that consisted of a load of photographs then you could choose the photo album theme but for this uh, for this first tutorial I'm gonna click no theme uh, because uh, I actually don't want to include a theme in this so we click no theme and then obviously we want to give the project a name now for <clears throat> for what we're doing here I'm just going to call it test one two three uh, and then I'm going to put YouTube at the end okay so we've given the project a name now um, you know these days videos and stuff are broadcast in widescreen 16 by 9 widescreen um, which is what what it's obviously high, highlighted on at the moment uh, the aspect ratio but you can switch it to 4x3 um, 
don't know why you would want to do that because obviously the standard format these days is widescreen 16 by 9 but anyway I suppose you can have there's a choice there um, and then once you've chosen the aspect ratio then you go down to the frame rates now it depends what you um, what you what frame rate you want now I tend to use 30 frames per second uh, for all my videos but you can and that and 30 frames per second that's the NTSC format which is the American format but you can switch it to PAL which is the British format here in the UK which is 25 frames per second um, or you can even have, you can even have 24 frames per second for cinema but we'll keep it on 30 frames per second for now uh, and that pretty much is all that set up for the project so now all we need to do is click the create uh, with this option here where it says automatically add to crossover well I leave I don't put a check next to that I leave that so we click create and then we're presented with the actual project window itself and as you can see where my cursor is it says project one two three YouTube and uh, as you can see there's a lot of empty boxes here at the moment and this is where you basically add you drag and drop video clips pictures into this project window here okay so if we move my cursor down to this section here I've got a variety of different clips here that you can see that I've actually used in previous video blogs but uh, what we're going to do the first thing that I normally do of course is I actually want to get my intro my video intro uh, started so we want to highlight what we'd actually do I think we'll use this one um, I'm going to highlight it in yellow uh, make sure I get all of it uh, it's nine seconds long now uh, this is a new intro that I had uh, created for me and designed for me all thanks to my good friend Chris so Chris buddy if you're watching this thanks for for putting this together for me I do use it and it really is cool um, so we've highlighted it in yellow there as you can see and just literally dragging and dropping into the project window and then obviously my intro appears here in the project window so that's all cool but say we want to add some more video footage so we can we can do that that's not a problem uh, we can go back to this section here I've got various different clips uh, in here as you can see now this one that I've got highlighted at the moment this is uh, when I was away for, uh, a week or so ago and uh, I'm going to just choose a segment of this video because this video goes on for about three two or three minutes um, but I'm just going to choose <clears throat> I'm going to choose 20 seconds worth of this because we don't want it to go on for too long and by and, it, and as you can see what I'm doing here I'm just dragging the cursor up to roughly 20 seconds here <clears throat> it doesn't have to be exact uh, but that's 20 seconds worth of video footage that I've selected there that's highlighted in yellow that you can see and what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to just drag and drop that into the project window and as you can see we've now got that segment of video uh, included next to the uh, the intro the start of the intro <clears throat> okay so I think what we'll do is we'll actually add uh, another segment of video footage so let's choose okay well let's choose uh, let's have a think okay let's choose this little bit here so again I'm going to choose about 20 seconds worth of uh, footage here um, okay so that's 20 seconds worth of video selected there in yellow so I'm going to do the same procedure I'm just going to drag and drop into the project window and then it appears there so we've got three three um, pieces of video footage there um, in the project we've got the video intro my intro at the beginning it, which then goes on to um, a 20 second clip of me uh, and then also I've got included another 20 second clip after that um, now what I'm going to do now is just, just play some of this back guys so you can see what it looks like and then we'll go on to the next thing So as you can see that's pretty straightforward and works well 
looking at the projects here uh, I haven't got any transitions um, that I've actually incorporated in between each video clip uh, so let's do that now let's add transition and you'll see um, the difference it makes to your video so I suppose what we need to do now is to open the transitions window and by doing that we click on this little button here show or hide transition browser so what we do is we just press it and then we'll have this window presented in front of us uh, and here we can head, we can uh, select various different transitions but I think what we'll do for this one is we'll use the circle close transition now when I highlight my cursor over the actual transition you can see a little preview as to what it's going to look like that's the kind of effects that we can we can have or we can choose circle open and then you have that effect but let's choose circle open now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to drag and drop that transition over it into the project window as you can see I'm dragging it now what I want to do I'm going to put it in between well I'm going to put it at the end of my intro at the beginning I'm going to put it at the end in between that and the first part of the video as you can see that's where I'm going to place it and I'm just going to let go of the mouse and that's now in as you can see let's make it two seconds long so that's two seconds long that uh, that transition and then as you can see if I play it back you can see the effects that it's created okay. and that is the transition there guys as you can see very very straightforward and you do exactly the same procedure with the, the other parts of the video so where there's a gap you can add another transition um, let's add let's add this swap transition again I'm going to just drag and drop it in between those two clips there and let go and that's two seconds long as well so I'm going to give you a little preview as to what that looks like Tuesday afternoon here and I hope that all my speak up a little bit because it's windy it's called Drake's Island and there you go that is now you can see quite clearly there's the transition there between the two videos very very nice transition this is I actually very I, I do like using this and I have used it in quite a lot of my uh, video video blogs here on YouTube but it is really really nice and um, that is pretty much how you import uh, videos into a project and how you add transition effects now say you want to add some text at the end of your say your video blog well what you do is you click the text um, or show and hide the title browser as they call it in iMovie so we click on that and then we go over to what they call the title browser this is where you can add like end credits to your video uh, your YouTube video for argument's sake because at, this, at the end of my YouTube videos I normally have some credits at the end um, so let's, uh, let's add one of them here um, I use this one quite a lot it's called a boogie lights so I'm going to add that at the end so I'm going to highlight it and I'm just going to drag it up to the very very end make sure it appears at the end of the actual selection of videos and let go of the mouse now when you let go of the mouse you actually present or let go of the mouse button you're presented with this window here it's asking me to choose a background uh, now there's a variety of different backgrounds that I can select for this um, but I think what we'll actually do f for this is we'll choose the gradient background so once we select that it's highlighted there and it's there uh, and then we've obviously got some text here that's highlighted in blue which we need to change so I'm going to change it and call it uh, well what I normally do at the end of my videos is I normally I normally put this in thanks for excuse me thanks for watching let go of the mouse that's it so that's there and that's for so the end the end credits are four seconds long but if I want to make them a little bit longer I just double click 
like that and I get the inspector window up here this is what they call the inspector window um, and obviously you can see it says duration four seconds well I can highlight that and change that to say seven seconds but let's make it five okay P press OK or done so that's five seconds long now if we go to the end of the first end of the virtual video itself you'll see the transition as well uh, not the transition you'll see the actual credits at the end private house there's a big private house in the middle of it and there's the transition at the end guys and there's the uh, okay. and there's the credits at the end guys but uh, what I forgot to do guys well I didn't forget to do it I've done this on purpose I didn't add a transition effect at the end of this segment of video highlighted in yellow here um, so I'm going to do that now I'm going to go back to the transitions window and I think I'm going to I think I'm going to use the spin out transition and I'm going to drag and drop it in between the end part of the video there and the credits at the end so we're going to just let go of the mouse and it's there so now when we play it you'll see the difference guys that's a private house there's a big private house and then you can see that's the, the transition there works very very well um, and that really is it guys that's pretty much the basics of, uh, of how I put a video together for my YouTube channel um, pretty cool uh, iMovie is very very I would say it's very straightforward to use for most people um, but for those of you that are uh, familiar with editing you know that are used to editing your videos well I mean iMovie just works a treat I can't praise iMovie enough it's such a good piece of software but that pretty much covers um, this tutorial or should I say this first part okay because there's a lot of uh, other features that you can actually achieve within uh, iMovie but that I'm going to have to actually cover in another video tutorial but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and um, like I said you know it gives you uh, some ideas to uh, as to how I actually go about creating my uh, my video blogs and um, you know obviously I'll be doing some uh, other tutorials on this because there is a hell of a lot you can do uh, you can do green screening with uh, iMovie which is something that I haven't actually done yet but um, when I actually do get my green screen uh, I am going to be using iMovie to to achieve my green screen uh, effects and stuff so I'm looking forward to that but thanks for watching this guys I hope that some of you have found this helpful uh, maybe for those of you that are possibly have just recently purchased a Mac uh, that have got them, you may have iMovie uh, I hope that this has helped you and taught you some basic information uh, and some techniques as to how you would go about put piecing videos together. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for thanks for checking this out. And uh, obviously, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please press the subscribe button at the top. Uh, and obviously, leave me comments down below in the comments box. Until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll speak to you soon.